Paris, from warnings to good wishes and mockery, governments around the world have reacted very differently to the hotly contested US election race between US President Donald Trump and challenger Joe Biden as votes continue to be counted. Here is a selection, everything that concerns our country is seen in the United States like a red rag to a bull, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters on Thursday. So that's why we won't make any comment. Americans probably need to put some order in their own affairs themselves. He added, however, that the uncertainty linked to the election results in the world's biggest economy could potentially have negative consequences for the world, above all for the global economy. What a spectacle. Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei tweeted Wednesday. One says this is the most fraudulent election in us history. Who says that? The president who is currently in office. What a spectacle. One says this is the most fraudulent election in us history. Who says that? The president who is slash slash T. Colorado slash BYX Air Khamenei. Air at Khamenei underscore Air. Called the head of an international observer mission to the US elections accused Trump of a gross abuse of office after the US president called the polls a fraud and demanded the vote counting be halted. The most disturbing thing was that with presidential fanfare of the White House, that is, with all the insignia of power, the American commander in chief called for an end to the count because of his purported victory, Michael Link from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe told the German daily Stuttgarter Zeitung. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro said he hoped Trump would win. The far-right leader, who has been dubbed a tropical Trump, has cultivated a close relationship with the Republican president. You know where I stand, I've been clear. I have a good relationship with Trump. I hope he'll be re-elected, Bolsonaro told supporters on Wednesday. Britain insisted its close partnership with the United States was in safe hands whoever came out on top, Trump or Democrat challenger Biden. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, a populist ally of Trump, refused to be drawn in Parliament when grilled about the Republicans' premature claim of victory. But Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb said, I'm not worried about the relationship. Spain's Foreign Minister Arancha Gonzalez Lai underlined the importance of respecting institutions. There are many populists who don't like institutions, she said Thursday. I'm not speaking here about the United States, but populists in general around the world. That's why it is so important to protect our institutions. Because ultimately they are the guarantors of our democracy. German Defense Minister Annegret kramp karrenbauer said Wednesday the United States was facing a very explosive situation and a possible systemic crisis. France's Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian reinforced recent statements from Paris that the nature of us relations had permanently changed under Trump. Europe needs to build a new transatlantic relationship, which is a new partnership, irrespective of who wins, he said Thursday. France under President Emmanuel Macron is keen for Europe to move away from its reliance on American military might for defense in particular. Ignoring the caution of his EU colleagues, the Prime Minister of Melania Trump's homeland, Slovenia, went out on a limb Wednesday to congratulate Trump for winning re-election. Jansa, along with Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban, was one of the few EU leaders to endorse Trump's candidacy, and said Biden would be one of the weakest US presidents in history.